And now, from the best team in town, this is the News 10 Nightcast. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Grit. Landowners in parts of Baldwin County could face restrictions they've never seen before. Lawmakers are drawing up a countywide zoning plan for unincorporated areas. It's a proposal that has some property owners in the southern part of the county upset. As Nightcast reporter Rod Odom discovered, some landowners are even considering legal action. On Fort Morgan Road in South Baldwin County, Jane Carney owns a huge piece of land. She wants to build a shopping center and more than 300 high-rise units. But now the best she can do is put up 75 to 80 single-family units or duplexes because the county is proposing to zone her property for residential units only. My property will probably lose about 75% of the virtual of the value at this time, the original value at the time that we bought it. Baldwin County officials are hoping to change all unincorporated land, including Ono Island near Gulf Shores, to residential areas. Some businessmen say they will lose money on county property they intended for commercial use. At the Meyer Civic Center in Gulf Shores, some property owners told a zoning drafting committee they don't like being told what to do with their land. Cletus Ryan says county zoning is unheard of and wrong. And I feel like that it's uh that it's unconstitutional and that it's an infringement on our rights. Proponents of county zoning say the move would improve the quality of life in the state's largest county and should anyone disagree with the final ruling they have a right to request changes. The committee has until April the 6th to submit its plan to the County Zoning and Planning Commission. If approved, zoning becomes law. But some residents say a legal battle may also come into play. Reporting from Gulf Shores, Rod Odom, News 10. Baldwin County Commission will have the final say on that plan. Mobile County School Board is looking at a plan that could affect where your child goes to school next year. The problem the board is trying to solve is one of overcrowding. But while some schools are overcrowded, others don't have enough students. So board members are looking at moving students from overcrowding to undercrowding. The schools affected would be Whitley, Palmer, and Glendale Elementary Schools, Pritchard Middle School, and Mobile County Training School. The relatives of three people killed last Friday night are concerned about the safety of the area where the accident took place. The three people died when their cars skidded off this bridge into a Slava Creek. The victims' families say there should be a guardrail at that spot. I would have Tyrone today if, you know, it's somebody, you know, some, you know, something was there to let, let them know something. It was nothing there. I went there, nothing. I didn't see nothing, no signs, no guardrail. They just, just went over. And it's just, it was a, you know, a hard fall and... State highway officials say they will take another look at the area and decide if the spot needs a guardrail. Mobile police needed just 10 minutes to capture a bank robbery suspect, red-handed, you might say. Police arrested this man, Keith Ray Keith and Sally McCrory, both of Pensacola, after a holdup at the Alabama Federal Savings and Loan on Old Shell Road bag of stolen money included an exploding die pack. The police stopped Keith at Airport and McGregor. The money, the bag, and Keith were all covered with red dye. A decision is expected today on the fate of TV evangelist Jimmy Swaggart. The leaders of the Assemblies of God Church will resume meeting today in an effort to come up with a fitting punishment. Swaggart admitted to meeting with the prostitute just months after bringing down fellow evangelist Jim Baker for a similar sexual misconduct. <laughs> Swaggart could receive counseling, a suspension from the pulpit, or expulsion from the church. Rob Roblin is up next to tell us how long the beautiful spring-like weather will be with us. If you've lost money in trying to get an overseas job, you'll want to see Dave Straker's story. For over 63 years, Barber's has been making the finest dairy products available. Now Barber's brings you Calcium Plus to give you and your family strong bones from early growth through adult life. Two 8-ounce glasses provide all the daily calcium you need. And Barber's Calcium Plus is 1% low-fat milk with calcium added, so you won't add calories as you add strength. Barber's Calcium Plus, the natural way to good health. Barber's Pure Good Taste. Could be marching into your home right now, entering through a crack in the foundation, chewing into your floors and subfloors, into your walls, termites. There's one sure way to stop them. Call Terminix. Terminix technicians have treated over 5 million homes using EPA registered materials and methods proven to stop termites. We guarantee it. No ifs, ands, or bugs. Terminix. Call now for a free termite inspection.
Mr. Jordan, is it true that you and Airright contractors have been putting my client along with hundreds like him out of work by installing high efficiency electric heat pumps? Right. Is it also true that Airright Contractors is an Alabama Power Certified Electric Heat Pump dealer and that Airright installs heat pumps with a five-year parts and labor warranty? Right. And just because you're saving your customers money with low installation costs and low utility bills, you'd put my client out of work? You Airright. Call Airright Contractors today. I got the future in my hands. Yeah, it's slowly taking shape. It's a lifelong dream I'm building, and it's a dream I know I'm going to make. Here's your new homeowner's policy. We can go over all the details when you got some extra time. Now you got everything of ours insured. Your life, your car, your new home. Put your trust in people who care. Call out club. The battle for control of Panama took a yesterday. Soldiers raided a Panama City hotel that houses many foreign journalists. The soldiers detained dozens of opposition leaders and newsmen and confiscated tape from TV crews. The raid followed one of the largest anti-government demonstration in months. More than 10,000 people marched through the streets calling for the resignation of military leader Manuel Noriega. Police used birdshot, tear gas and clubs to break up the demonstration. Israel is moving this morning to head off Palestinian demonstrations planned for Wednesday. Under new orders, the million and a half Arabs living in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank will in some cases not be allowed out of their homes. 800 of the American paratroopers airlifted to Honduras about two weeks ago dropped in on their families and friends today in North Carolina. Members of the 82nd Airborne Division came home but couldn't wait for the planes to land to return to American soil. President Reagan ordered the 82nd to Central America as a show of force after reports of a Nicaraguan invasion of Honduras earlier this month. Presidential candidate Richard Gephardt also had dropping out on his mind today. Surrounded by hundreds of friends and supporters in Washington, Gephardt admitted he had no chance of winning the Democratic nomination. Gephardt said his loss in Saturday's Michigan caucuses proved his campaign was over. It's been said that the opera isn't over until the fat lady sings. Last Saturday in Michigan, I think I heard her walking to the microphone. Gephardt, however, is not getting out of politics. At the same time, he announced plans to run for re-election to Congress. Spring is breaking out all over, even up north. In Washington, D.C., the cherry blossoms have bloomed right on cue. This is the week of the annual Cherry Blossom Festival. The blossoms are a sure sign that spring has arrived in our nation's capital. Beautiful day today. Oh, it was. I'm excited tonight. I'll come. I'll come. Well, Eric's got video of WrestleMania 4. I know you've been waiting all night. I've been for waiting that. all night, you know. <laughs> macho men. <laughs> Wonder who won. I didn't get to see it. I think it would be a complete surprise. Yeah, probably. I, it probably will be a, to me. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> well, it was a beautiful day, and mm -hmm. we're going to have another nice day tomorrow. Uh, but then we've got a change with a chance of precipitation moving in possibly tomorrow night. First of all, let's take a look at our lows for tonight. Predicted lows for tonight, another mild evening. Look for a low of 55 in Mobile, 54 in Baymanette, 55 up in Jackson, uh, 60 degrees over at Fort, Fort Walton. All in all, it's going to be a very nice evening as far as the temperature is concerned. As far as tomorrow is concerned, another mild day. We have a few more clouds tomorrow. Look for a high of 73 in Mobile, 75 Pensacola. Warmer up north, 76 in Huntsville. Looking at tomorrow's map, you can see that the cold front back to our west right now, we'd be getting ever so close to our area, and tomorrow night there's a slight chance of a shower. However, on Wednesday, as you can see, the front's right in our area. There are going to be some scattered showers and thunderstorms as we have a change with more moisture and more clouds moving in beginning tomorrow night. Right now in Mobile, clear skies, temperature 57, humidity 83%, winds out of the southeast 7, pressure falling. Pensacola, clear, temperature of 60, humidity 87, winds out of the east at 6 and the pressure is falling. The sun will rise in the morning 546, set 610, the water temperature is 65 degrees. Our picture from space, the high pressure system gave us all the clear skies, but you can see back in Louisiana, a few clouds beginning to drift in, uh, a few clouds also beginning to drift into Mississippi. They'll be moving in tomorrow as we have partly cloudy skies. However, on the radar, that cold front, as you just saw with the low pressure system, some very heavy thunderstorms in Oklahoma going all the way up into Michigan. They have ice and snow up in Michigan, tornadoes in Oklahoma. 
Oklahoma and parts of Texas some severe weather. It appears at this point that that severe weather will go to the north of us, but once again, tomorrow night, look for some of these showers and possibly thunderstorms moving in, and more so, more numerous, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and even a chance for them around on Friday and Thursday. Boating forecast, uh, partly cloudy, winds out of the south, at the east rather, to southeast, 15 to 20 knots, seas 3 to 5 feet. As far as our tides are concerned, look for a low tide at 8.18 a.m., high tide 10.55, the river stages at Coffeyville and Claiborne. The forecast for tonight, look for fair skies, few clouds, high cirrus clouds moving in tonight with a low of 55 degrees. And then tomorrow, nice day, but not probably as nice as today, partly cloudy, a little windy wind out of the southeast, 10 to 20 uh, miles per hour, and the high tomorrow, 73, and the low, 58 degrees. The fox are going to have some sunshine, too. Mm -hmm. It looks like they'll be scattered in nature. So it's not going to be totally no, not No, 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 not totally bad. No. All right, sounds good. There's important news this morning for Gulf Coast residents who fell victim to an overseas job scheme that went bust. 10 on your side reporter Dave Straker says the bureaucratic wheels are starting to turn and steps need to be taken now if you ever want to see your money again. Sam White of Lillian, Alabama was the first in a long list of people this year to tell me how you can lose hundreds of dollars trying to get a high paying job overseas. The company this time was the now defunct Overseas Personnel Association. The cost $525 with a third of it refundable had the company not disappeared. I feel like I've been chapped. There ain't no doubt two ways about it. I said, I, I hate to admit that I've been, a lot of my friends told me, say, well, you just lost your money anyhow. I said, well, I've got to live and learn. Before Jeff Plato said he wanted to work in Australia, but settled for a job in Westmobile. After seeing our original story, he too came forward. They promised high salaries and sixty, seventy thousand dollars salaries and no taxes. Uh, I asked for Australia, and they said, "Oh, they will get you Australia, no problem." Then they said, "No way, you can get Australia." Uh, they promised you flights home. The companies, if they hired you, they'll give you free flights home a couple of times a year. What'd they give you? Nothing. Published reports in Miami today. Overseas personnel has just filed Chapter 7 federal bankruptcy proceedings. In order to line up as one of their creditors, you need to fill out one of these. It's a proof of claim form available from any U.S. bankruptcy court office. Once you obtain the blank form, contact us. We'll give you the case number to fill in on the dotted line and also the address to send it to. On your side, Dave Straker, News 10. If you have a problem, call the 10 on your side hotline at 438-2358 during regular business hours. Coming up next on the News 10 Nightcast, the signs of spring are everywhere. I'll have some tips for you allergy sufferers out there. With all today's choices in soybean wheat control, these herbicides offer something exceptional. Each controls grasses and broadleaves without tank mixing, and each contains the power of Scepter, America's leading broadleaf herbicide and the key ingredient to total soybean weed control. So look for Scepter in Squadron, New Tricept, and exciting products to come. See your AgriCenter dealer. I was flying to Europe at the end of the week on business, and I had a lot on my mind. I guess I got careless. I left my briefcase in a cab with all my credit cards in it. When he called the Citibank 800 number, he was upset. Could he get a new Citibank visa before he left? I had it the next day. My Citibank visa was the only card I had in time. And I found out it was the only card I needed. Not just visa, Citibank visa. Rid your home of heat and humidity this summer with a heat pump that delivers economy and high efficiency. And a mana heat pump. Buy now and save three ways. First, on installation. Buy and get low preseason prices. Continue your savings with low operating costs. Most Amanas have 9 plus SEER efficiency ratings. And finally, save on maintenance costs. When you buy now from a participating dealer, there are no charges on parts and labor for five full years. Save three ways at Watley Air Conditioning and Heating Mobile, Emergency Repair Service, Foley Gulf Shores. It's here now. Chrysler's pride and joy, the all-new Eagle Premier. Not 20000 not even 15000 but today only $14,949. And it's loaded, loaded with lots of equipment, like air conditioning, power windows and door locks, power steering and brakes, an ET stereo radio, a V6 engine, automatic transmission, and much more. Act today while your Jeep Eagle dealer is making incredible deals on the great new Premier. See your Southland Jeep Eagle dealer where you can expect the best. 
Now, anyone who suffers from allergies already knows spring is in the air in Mobile. It's a time for itchy eyes and lots of sneezing. While you can't do much about the pollen that floats around in the air, you can reduce your hay fever symptoms, as I'll show you in this morning's Health Watch report. There is no question that spring is here. The azaleas are in full bloom, the sky is blue, and the oak trees are full of pollen. So not only has spring sprung, so have spring allergies. The congested nose, the runny eyes, the headache, they're all keeping ear, nose, and throat Dr. Barry Brown very busy. Many people end up having skin tests to find out what they're allergic to. Mrs. Stapleton has been wheezing and coughing a lot, and she's tired of the tight feeling in her chest, so she's being tested. Rick Burnett is also in for the skin test. I've been feeling bad for uh, two or four months, allergenic, sneezing, coughing. Actually, all my life, off and on, it's just gotten worse as you get older. Various solutions are injected, and the spots are checked for swelling in about 10 minutes, which indicates an allergic reaction. Then the proper medication, either reaction. oral drugs or allergy shots, can be prescribed. It does. Someone that has year-round problems would definitely benefit from allergy injections. Someone that has problems for two weeks in the spring and two weeks in the fall does not need to undergo allergy testing. And they can be treated with the drugs or the nose sprays. Often doctors first order blood tests and then they'll follow up with the skin tests. Thousands tuned out today in San Francisco for a special birthday party. The cable cars on Powell Street turned 100. They're younger than the city's other cable cars on California Street, but they follow a longer route and cut through a more picturesque part of the city. They still travel at the breakneck speed of nine and a half miles an hour. Coming up, Craig Price has sports. And up next, the story of this woman, an avid runner who pounds the pavement just for the fun of it. That's next in our Women in Sports Report. Who wants to think about buying a new muffler? No one wants the problem of replacing the muffler. It's just a hassle. So it might have. We get you in and out of here. Fast. It's a hassle that I didn't want to go through. We guarantee the muffler for as long as you own your car. Not to mention the expense. And Midas prices take the sting out of muffler repair costs. So, I went to number one. Nobody beats Midas. It's a no-brainer. Nobody. Tell Champs a better way to save. Meal. After meal. After meal. You know you can always depend on Del Shams for quality and variety. And meal after meal after meal. Nobody beats Del Shams everyday minimum pricing. Day in, day out, nobody beats Del Shams prices. We are family. This is this year's hot car. Southern old family. This car says, hey, step aside. The all-new revolutionary cut cream. Both mobile, you and me. Just look at this car. Now, look at these. See the difference? Once you've driven the all-new Cutlass Supreme, everything else is just traffic. Joe Bullard, Chatham, Lassiter, Lee, McKenzie. Join the Southern Old Family. When a lot goes into getting a perfect 35 millimeter photo, Okay. All right, Make sure it gets the individual attention it deserves with Eckert's Ultralab 35 photo processing. Ultralab examines each negative for color and contrast, uses only Kodak paper and chemicals. Plus, Ultralab prints are 30% larger. Take your 35mm film to someone who works as hard as you do to get that perfect photo. Eckert Ultralab 35. Nothing looks better. March Madness, of course, is still going on, but there are other things going on in the world of sports. Sure there are. Locally, I uh, had a couple of girls that uh, were honored, girls Great. basketball, and if we're talking girls basketball, we must be talking McGill Tulin, mm -hmm. right? Of course. And Monique Adams and Nyla Shepard have both been named to the Super 5 team. That's an all-state team for girls basketball. Monique and Nyla led the Lady Jackets of McGill to a state championship and an undefeated record this season. Both girls have signed scholarships to play volleyball at LSU next year. Congratulations to them. Well, another local female takes her athletic act on the road every day. Melissa Denbo is among the top female road racers in the area, but her running career wasn't born until after her first child was. Waking up. For the past four years, 25-year-old Melissa Denbo has worked at Government Street Baptist Church, working with kids in the church daycare center. Obviously, working in a daycare center, there are going to be those days when things get a little frustrating. 
Fortunately, Melissa has a great way to deal with that. Melissa is a runner, has been since 1983. She loves to run competitively, but her running career began for a much simpler reason. She started hitting the pavement after the birth of her first child. I gained a pretty good bit with my first, so that was kind of the emphasis at first. And then my brother, after about a month of running, got me into my first race. And then after that, I've been doing it for more of competitive reasons, more than weight. Now Melissa runs about five miles every day. Her best event is the 5K race, which she can finish in just over 20 minutes. But for Melissa, running is much more than racing. It's a chance to get away from it all after a day of diapers and daycare. Yeah, you get out there and it just gives you time to think and calm down and get your perspectives back in view, you know. It, get, it gives you a chance to just get out and relax. And if you have a women in sports story like Melissa's, drop us a line at Post Office Box 1548, Mobile, 36633. Well, we are into the final four days before the final four gets underway in Kansas City. Kansas will play Duke Saturday afternoon, game time 4.30. Oklahoma plays Arizona after that. Now, the favorite right now is Arizona, winner of 15 straight games and a team that has never been to the final four. Yesterday, Arizona fans welcomed their heroes home. For a minute there, I thought it was Michael Jackson. You guys got to uh, It's been a great year, and it's been a great three years here so far. And I just want to thank everybody who's out here tonight. And uh, hopefully there will be 10,000 people who come, come back to the top. But save your energy, because I'll see you at the same time here next week. We'll see. Up in Tuscaloosa, Alabama football coach Bill Curry wasn't real happy with the fourth day of spring practice. Curry said there was nobody out there to brag on. One injury to report, sophomore split in Craig Sanderson broke his collarbone while diving for a pass. Sanderson had been looking good in practice. Now, Ron Goldnick returns from Tuscaloosa today. He'll have reports on the Tide beginning tonight at 6 o'clock, so look forward to that. And coming up in our next segment, we're going to talk about Bo Jackson. They have made a decision whether he will play in the major leagues or the minor leagues. Will you tell me now? No. You oh. must wait. Thanks. And when the News 10 Early Edition returns in his Take 10 report, Randy Titano tells us about this man's plans for a Bermuda bike-a-thon. Did you know that some Amana remote heat pumps have a full 10-year warranty on the coil and compressor? They're top-of-the-line, high-efficiency units with energy ratings of 9-plus SEER. Now, how can Amana offer such long warranties? Well, maybe it's because Amana uses all-quality copper tubing, not aluminum as some other brands. Buy now and also get a five-year service contract on all parts and labor free from your participating Amana dealer. Patrick's Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Mobile and Mitchell Air Conditioning Mobile. Not until I take the Mazda Challenge. I like it, but I want to take the Mazda Challenge first. Come take the Mazda Test Drive Challenge. Test drive a Mazda at your Mazda dealers. If you still buy a comparable model Honda, Toyota, or Nissan, Mazda will give you a $200 U.S. savings bond. But if driving a Mazda convinces you to buy one, you'll get a $500 savings bond from Mazda. Sorry. I know. The Mazda Challenge. Take the challenge at your Mazda dealers, but hurry. Offer ends soon. Volumes of information on heart problems. Diagnostic methods have changed. Treatment has changed. Today, it's changing even faster. The new dealing with heart problems aren't in print yet, but they're in practice at University Heart Center at USA Medical Center. Here, a team of highly skilled cardiac specialists bridge the gap between yesterday's practice of medicine and tomorrow's medical breakthroughs. A teaching and research hospital writing new chapters for tomorrow's practice of medicine. With all today's choices in soybean wheat control, these herbicides offer something exceptional. Each controls grasses and broadleaves without tank mixing, and each contains the power of Scepter, America's leading broadleaf herbicide and the key ingredient to total soybean weed control. So look for Scepter in Squadron, New Tricept, and exciting products to come. See your AgriCenter dealer. 
If you'll be using Interstate 10 tomorrow, watch out for construction along I-10 westbound on the inside lane over Broad Street and the inside westbound lane over the Dog River Bridge. And it shouldn't be too bad a day tomorrow. No, and in honor of the macho man, it is going to be a nice day tomorrow. <laughs> Part of the cloudy skies, ooh, 57. <laughs> they don't tear up your throat, do they? <laughs> the sun will rise at 546. Day forecast, you can see what we're talking about. Still mild temperatures around. But once again, we're going to have a few more clouds moving in and a chance of a scattered shower and or a thunderstorm Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Sounds like a macho forecast. Yeah, right. Macho day. <laughs> now, for years, the Guinness Book of World Records has inspired many people to do many strange things. This Sunday, an Alabama man will attempt to take a place in the record book. In this morning's Take 10, Randy Titano meets a man who's going up the creek without a paddle. This is water. This is a boat. If you want to travel across this, you generally need one of these. Now, what if I told you a guy was going to sail across the Bermuda Triangle on a bicycle? And no, this isn't one of Pamela Ewing's weird dreams. 47-year-old Autry King is a retired trucker. After putting the pedal to the metal for almost three decades, he's decided to put it in the water. His cycle boat sounds like it has a screw loose. Of course, people say the same thing about Autry. A lot of people say I am crazy. But I have a house that's built out of bales of hay. It's three times stronger than your house. And uh, I'm proud of it. And I have a bicycle that floats. I'm proud of that. He calls this craft the Alabama Pea Picker, his CB handle during his trucking days. During his seven-day trip across the Bermuda Triangle, he'll live on beef jerky and water. And he's not worried about disappearing. No, sir, I'm not afraid of the supernatural forces. I'm afraid of the waves, yes. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned with the sharks, should I get thrown into the water. But, so maybe I'll talk to the sharks, they'll leave me alone. <laughs> Just remember, they laughed at Columbus. Of course, he had a boat. Randy Titano, News 10.